Uh, lovely to see you here. Uh, we, James is going to tell you a little bit about um, Archie, and then uh, we'll have the ringing of the bells uh, 100 times, and then a few prayers. And then I understand we are going to the graveside afterwards to lay a wreath. So over to you then. Well, thank you all once again for coming to um, Archie's commemoration. It's the last commemoration before the centenary of the armistice. He was far from the last man uh, from this village to, to lose his life as a result of the war. We'll continue uh, to be commemorating people right up um, to New Year's Eve at the end of this year. Um, 100 years is, is not really that long uh, a time, but memories fade very, very quickly. And so it was for decades that people didn't know why uh, we had a Canadian serviceman uh, buried here at All Saints. But that mystery has been solved. Um, he was a Sutton, uh, Sutton chap, uh, and he had family living uh, in Banstead. So we'll tell you a little bit about them um, in a moment. Now, he uh, served in the Army Service Corps, uh, so he wasn't fighting in the trenches. Um, our infantrymen from Banstead and Burheath, about one in three of them were killed um, or died as a result of the war. Our Army Service Corps men, although they were driving lorries and, you know, if theoretically safe behind the lines, their casualty rates or fatality rates were still one in ten, so it was still a dangerous um, business. They're, one of the, the uh, chief threats to them, apart from uh, the German guns, was uh, disease. Um, they were as vulnerable to anybody else um, as that. And Archie, um, at one point, he recovered from it, but he had um, a disease called trench fever which is contracted from the lice that the men were riddled with. So today's poem uh, is by Isaac Rosenberg, and it's called Louse Hunting. Nudes stark and glistening, yelling in lurid glee, grinning faces and raging limbs, whirl over the floor on fire. For a shirt verminously busy, yon soldier tore from his throat with oaths Godhead might shrink at, but not the lice. And soon the shirt was aflare over the candle he'd lit while we lay. Then we all sprang up and stripped to hunt the verminous brood. Soon, like a demon's pantomime, this plunge was raging. See the silhouettes agape, see the gibbering shadows mixed with the baffled arms on the wall. See gargantuan hooked fingers pluck in supreme flesh to smutch supreme littleness. See the merry limbs in that highland fling because some wizard vermin willed to charm from the quiet this rivel. When our ears were half lulled by the dark music, blown from sleep's trumpet. We're going to toll the bell now a um, hundred times in Archie's uh, memory, and then we'll tell you a bit more about um, his story. Is there anyone here that would like to toll the bell, maybe someone that hasn't done it before, uh, in memory? Fantastic, thank you.